Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another WWE Weekly Review. Let's get started with Monday Night Raw. If you don't know how this works, basically I take what happened on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown and I put it into a WWE action figure setup and review what happened on the show and then I rate the show after I'm done. Um, but yeah, this was Monday Night Raw, the final episode of Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania 37. Let's get into it. Speaking of Nia Jax, we also had Rhea Ripley and Asuka versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, where towards the end, Asuka was on the top rope, and Rhea Ripley actually pushed Asuka down off the ropes, beat her up, then threw her in the ring, and Nia Jax, or Shayna Baszler, I forget which one it was, pinned Asuka, and um, yeah, so Rhea Ripley is definitely a heel in this storyline, she's the heel in the storyline, and Asuka is the face, but yeah, and um, yeah, this, ri this rivalry was pretty stupid. But hopefully, Rhea Ripley is winning the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. Because that would be really good. Then over here, we had the WWE Champion Bobby Lashley versus Cedric Alexander. And just like last week when Bobby Lashley put the hurt lock on Shelton Benjamin, Shelton Benjamin did not tap. He just passed out. Same thing for Cedric Alexander. So I'm glad they didn't make Cedric look weak and make him tap out. He just passed out to Bobby Lashley. But Bobby Lashley does defeat Cedric Alexander. And yeah... Sad that the Hurt Business is broken up, but oh well. Then over here, we had AJ Styles versus Xavier Woods in a really short match. AJ put the calf crusher on him, and then Kofi Kingston came around with a microphone, was talking to it, and then threw it at Omos, and Omos chased Kofi into the ring. AJ Styles was about to beat Kofi up, but Kofi ran out of the ring, and then a roll-up, one, two, three, Xavier Woods wins the match, and then, uh, yeah, the New Day were standing tall while AJ and Omos were in the ring, all furious. But, um, yeah, that was weird that that match was like a minute long. Hmm. And then after that, we have The Miz and John Morrison, who actually painted Bad Bunny's, uh, I think it was a Bugatti or something like that. I don't remember which car they said it was. But he, they painted Hey Hey Hop Hop Bad Bunny and stuff on that. Ruined his car, even though it's probably washable paint that he can get off easily. Or he could just buy another car. He's a billionaire or something. But... Yeah, they were both celebrating, and now we're also getting Damian Priest and Bad Bunny challenged Miz and Morrison to a tag team match. So we're getting, instead of Miz versus Bad Bunny at WrestleMania, we're getting the Miz and John Morrison versus Damian Priest and Bad Bunny in a tag team match now. So yeah, we already knew it was going to be that, so that's why it was kind of weird when I said it was going to be a normal match, but then they switched it back to a tag team match. So yeah. And then in the main event, we had King Corbin trying to take out Drew McIntyre so he could get a shot at the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But obviously, they're not going to replace Drew McIntyre with King Corbin. So Drew McIntyre did hit the Claymore. This match was really good, mainly because of Drew McIntyre. But he did hit the Claymore on King Corbin. Picks up the win. Bobby Lashley and MVP were mad. And Drew McIntyre is going to WrestleMania to fight Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. But yeah, that was Monday Night Raw. Not a bad episode, but also not a good episode for your go-home show. Like, literally, your tag team match ended in a minute. This ended in the Raw Women's Champion getting pinned. And other than that, everything else was pretty stupid. So, yeah, Raw, I'll give it like a 5 out of 10. Maybe a 6. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because the main event was good. Um, and Kofi throwing that mic at Omos was pretty funny. But, yeah, other than that, not that, that, not that good of a show. Um, I haven't seen SmackDown yet, but by the time I do the SmackDown review, obviously I will have seen it. So, yeah, hopefully SmackDown is better, but I'll see you for SmackDown. Peace. And then in the main event, we had King Corbin trying to take out Drew McIntyre so he could get a shot at the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. But obviously, they're not going to replace Drew McIntyre with King Corbin. So Drew McIntyre did hit the Claymore. This match was really good, mainly because of Drew McIntyre. But he did hit the Claymore on King Corbin. Picks up the win. Bobby Lashley and MVP were mad. And Drew McIntyre is going to WrestleMania to fight Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. But yeah, that was Monday Night Raw. Not a bad episode, but also not a good episode for your go-home show. Like, literally, your tag team match ended in a minute. This ended in the Raw Women's Champion getting pinned. And other than that, everything else was pretty stupid. So yeah, Raw, I'll give it like a 5 out of 10. Maybe a 6. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because the main event was good. Um, and Kofi throwing that mic at Omos was pretty funny. But yeah, other than that, not that, not that good of a show. Um, I haven't seen SmackDown yet, but by the time I do the SmackDown review, obviously I will have seen it. So yeah, hopefully SmackDown is better, but I'll see you for SmackDown. Peace.
All right, guys, and now welcome to the SmackDown side of things. This show was a little weird, you know. It was kind of like Raw, how it's the last show before WrestleMania, and they didn't even really build up a lot of their stories for WrestleMania. But, um, yeah, let's get into the show, and I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Then after that, we had a match that should have been on WrestleMania instead of the women's tag team match. We had the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy versus the Mysterio Family versus... Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode and um, this was for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships in a fatal four-way match and it ended when uh, uh, blah, 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 Montez Ford hit the from the heavens frog splash off the top rope on to Chad Gable Dolph Ziggler super kicked him and then Robert Roode ran in one two three and uh, the Dirty Dogs retain the titles. I thought for sure Rey Mysterio and Dominic were going to win the titles. Maybe if it was at WrestleMania, they would have. But since it was on SmackDown, they didn't. And uh, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode are still the champs. Probably the most unlikely team to actually win this match. I thought for sure they were losing. But no, they're actually still the champs. So I wonder when they're going to lose. Maybe they actually want to keep them as the champs. But yeah, this was a pretty good match. And it was the first match of the night. Then after that, we had Natalya and Tamina against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. We had Natalya and Shayna Baszler at ringside while Natalya and uh, Tamina and Nia Jax fought. And at the end, they were both, they're actually family, but they were fighting each other. And everyone was saying how no one can match Nia Jax in strength except for Tamina. And then Tamina eventually hit a Samoan drop on Nia Jax. She went for the cover, but Shayna Baszler broke it up. But then Natalya and Tamina beat up Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, they ran away. And then we cut backstage to Naomi and like Lana and Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot and all the women in the match tomorrow at WrestleMania and they were talking and then eventually they started fighting and then Natalia and Tamina came back and wiped everyone out and were the last women standing and um, yeah I'm hoping that Natalia and Tamina don't win the tag team championships at WrestleMania because that would suck and then we had Edge sit down in the middle of the ring with the spotlight all on him, just like he kind, just like he wanted at WrestleMania, and um, he was basically talking about his match at WrestleMania. But he barely was talking about Daniel Bryan. He basically just all he said about Daniel Bryan was that he was a troll sticking his nose in him and Roman Reigns' business. And then he said, "Roman, you debuted with in a faction. You walked through the crowd. You're basically a Samoan Edge. So basically." Uh, Edge was saying that Roman Reigns is basically a Samoan copy of Edge, which he kind of is. He does have, he's a spear, he was in the shield, he came through the crowd, just like Edge. But, um, yeah, but then Edge said, I will give it to you. You are good, but not as good as me, and that's why at WrestleMania, I'm going to become the Universal Champion. So, yeah, that was Edge's promo, and then we moved on. Then we had Bianca Belair backstage cutting a promo, basically saying how she's going to win the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania because she's the BEST. I don't even really remember what else she said, but it was pretty pointless. Only thing she said was, I'm going to win at WrestleMania. And um, that's basically exactly what Sasha Banks said as well. She said, I'm I'm number one, Sasha's number, uh, Bianca's number two, I'm number one. I'm the BEST. I'm going to beat Bianca at WrestleMania. The storyline for this match sucks. I'm sorry. But this match is going to be awesome. But yeah, Sasha Banks saying that she's going to walk in and out of WrestleMania as the SmackDown Women's Champion tomorrow night. Then over here we had a, not an in-ring interaction again, but we had a sort of a trailer. Kind of like, you know how when class president uh, students will make a good trailer in movies and they'll always diss their opponents? Well, Seth Rollins basically said that. He said, do you want this guy as an example for your kids? A man who has never had a singles match at WrestleMania. Um, a guy who has been working for 10 years and never won the Universal Championship. If you want someone that has done those things, then pick Seth Rollins. And he was basically saying how I'm better than Cesaro and everything. And at the end it said this ad was made by the friends of Seth Rollins. This is in no way connected to Seth Rollins at all. Even though it was in Seth Rollins' voice. So that was pretty funny. But um, yeah, this match is going to be super good at WrestleMania. And I'm looking forward to it. Then after that, we had the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. But before that got started, we had Sami Zayn talking about um, how he was going to win at WrestleMania with Kevin Owens and um, how he was going to have Logan Paul with him and everything. And then, bam, Kevin Owens was coming out and attacking him. He did not hit the stunner on him, but he chased him around. But I just put the stunner on there anyway. But he was beating Sami Zayn up, chasing him. They left, and that's when everyone in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale came out. We had a ton of people in this battle royal, including King Corbin, Ricochet, Eric, 
uh, Buddy Murphy, Ali, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, Tucker, he has not been on TV in a while, Shinsuke Nakamura, Jay Uso, and um, yeah, it came down to Jay Uso, Shinsuke Nakamura, and King Corbin, and uh, Shinsuke took out King Corbin, and then Shinsuke went for a Kinshasa, but got hit with a super kick by Jay Uso, but then hit the uh, Kinshasa anyway, went to throw Jay Uso out of the ring, but Jay Uso turned him around and threw Shinsuke out of the ring, and Jay Uso is your Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal winner. And then immediately after that, Roman Reigns came out, got into the ring with Jey Uso, gave him a handshake, hugged him and everything, and then he started talking about WrestleMania, how Daniel Bryan will not tap him out, Edge will not beat him, Roman Reigns will reign supreme as the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, the Universal Championship, all of his nicknames he has. And um, yeah, that was basically it. He just said how um, Edge and Daniel Bryan's dreams will become nightmares at WrestleMania when Roman Reigns destroys them and keeps his Universal Championship. But yeah, that was um it for WrestleMania SmackDown, because that's what it was called. It was called WrestleMania SmackDown. But yeah, that was it for SmackDown. Let me know what you guys thought of the show, Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. Leave it down in the comment section below. My overall rating for this show was like a is I'm gonna give it kind of the same thing as Raw, a six out of ten. So a total of twelve out of twenty for both shows. Not good that's not good. But yeah, six out of ten for SmackDown. Um, the only reason it got a 6 was because of the good tag team match, this funny Seth Rollins ad, the Big E uh, promo was good, and then Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, and Edge's promos were good. And the Battle Royale was pretty good. But there was not a lot of like storylines built, so that's why it loses a lot of points. But yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.